it's going to be pretty difficult to build AWS World Architect architectures if you don't have a fundamental understanding of AWS Global Infrastructure. AWS Global Infrastructure starts out first with AWS Regions. AWS Regions is simply an area within the globe in which AWS offers their services. Within those AWS regions, you have availability zones. Availability zones are fault isolated and fault tolerant areas within the region in which you can run your services. And the good thing about availability zones, because they're fault isolated, if you run in multiple availability zones, in the unlikely event if an availability zone were to go out, your application would still run if you are spread out across multiple availability zones. At the edge, there's something called points of presence. This is what CloudFront uses. And this is good if you want to do low latency requirements outside of the region. There's another uh, piece of global infrastructure called local zones. Local zones aren't full-fledged regions, but they can get closer to your customers in terms of where you can implement your architectures and offer lower latency than, for example, a region depending on what your, where your customers are geographically dispersed. There's also something called Wavelength, which is basically deploying your compute on top of cellular 5G. And if you want to run AWS as an extension within your own data center, you can take a look at AWS Outpost. These are just a few of the AWS global infrastructure concepts that you should have a fundamental understanding of. And you can use this in your decision to build out cloud architectures that meet your business outcomes.